ever gazed at the stars and wondered if the world we're living in is actually a prison, imagine for a moment that the reality we know, the one we live every single day, is nothing more than an elaborate illusion. The air we breathe, the people we love, the dreams we chase, all part of a grand scheme designed to keep us chained. What if our world as we know it is not a sanctuary, but a sophisticated cell? That's a thought to chew on, ain't it? Scene script. Imagine for a moment a bird in a cage, Picture a pretty little creature with feathers of vibrant hues fluttering within the confines of its gilded prison. To this bird, the cage is its entire world. It knows nothing of the vast forests and the open skies. It perceives its cage as its universe, content in its ignorance of the boundless possibilities that exist beyond the bars. Now consider our own situation. We humans, like the bird, are born into a world that is framed by limitations. We are confined by the laws of nature, the boundaries of our knowledge and the constructs of society. These form the bars of our conceptual cage. This cage is not a physical one but a mental construct, a product of our perceptions and beliefs. It's the paradigm we've been conditioned to accept, the reality we've been taught to perceive. We are told that the world is round, that gravity keeps us grounded and that the sky is blue. But have we ever questioned these truths? Just as the bird perceives its cage as its world, we perceive our world as the only one. But what if there's more? What if there are countless other realities, other dimensions, other versions of existence that we are unable to perceive because we are caged within our own conceptual limitations? What if our world is actually a prison, a gilded cage, keeping us from exploring the infinite possibilities of existence? What if we are limited not by physical constraints, but by our own minds, our own perceptions? The bird in the cage doesn't realize it's in a prison because it knows no other reality. Similarly, we don't realize we are in a cage because we cannot perceive any reality beyond what we know. But what if we could? What if we could transcend the boundaries of our perception and see the world for what it truly is? Would we still be content in our cage? Or would we yearn for the freedom to explore the unknown? So are we just birds in a gilded cage? Or is there more to it? What if the walls of our prison aren't physical but perceptual? Now that's a thought, isn't it? We're not talking brick and mortar here. We're talking about the walls we can't touch, the barriers we can't see, the ones that exist solely within our minds. Consider this, our reality, the world we navigate every day, is largely a construct of our perceptions. The way we perceive the world around us, the people we interact with, the events we experience, all of it is filtered through our own unique lens of perception. Our perceptions are shaped by our past experiences, our beliefs, our values, and our fears. They're the tools we use to make sense of the world. But what if these tools, these perceptions, are not as reliable as we think? What if they're not showing us the whole picture, but rather a narrow, skewed version of reality? It's like we're all living in our own little bubbles, each one a unique universe of perception. And these bubbles, these perceptual walls, confine us, limit us, keep us from seeing the world as it truly is. They keep us trapped in a prison of our own making, a prison we don't even realize we're in. Think about it. Have you ever had an experience that completely changed your perspective, that shattered your preconceived notions and forced you to see the world in a new light? That was a moment when one of your perceptual walls came crashing down. A moment of liberation. But how many more walls are there? How many more barriers to understanding and experiencing the world in its full, unfiltered glory? And the million dollar question? How do we break down these walls? How do we free ourselves from this prison of perception? That's a journey each of us must undertake for ourselves, a journey into the depths of our own minds. But remember, the first step to freedom is recognizing the prison. So let's start there. Let's start by acknowledging that our perceptions, as useful as they are, might just be the bars of our cage. Our perceptions could be the chains holding us back. But here's the twist. What if the key to our prison is in our minds? You see, our thoughts are incredibly powerful. They shape our reality, our perception of the world, and our place within it. Our minds are the architects of our own cages. But what if they could also be the architects of our freedom? Imagine this, your mind unshackled by the limitations of the physical world. The walls of perception no longer confining you. The bars of your cage created by societal norms and expectations melting away. The power of thought is immense. It's through thought that we create, innovate, and change. It's through thought that we dream of a world beyond our own. It's through thought that we unlock the limitless potential within us. So what if we could harness this power, not just to dream of freedom, but to achieve it? What if by changing our thoughts, we could change our reality? 
The world may seem like a prison, but perhaps it's not the world that needs to change. Perhaps it's our perception of it. Maybe the key isn't to break free from the world, but to break free from the limits we've set for ourselves. So remember the power of your mind. Remember that your thoughts can be your cage or they can be your key. The key to freedom might just be a thought away. So, we've taken a trip down a rabbit hole, haven't we? We've explored the idea that our world might just be a grand illusion, a conceptual prison of sorts. The bars of this prison aren't made of iron or steel, but rather they're built from our perceptions, our interpretations of reality. We've examined how these walls of perception shape and limit our understanding of the world. Like an artist confined to a single palette, we only perceive the colors we're conditioned to see. But remember, the world is not black and white, it's a vibrant spectrum of possibilities. And most importantly, we've discussed the power of thought, how it's more than a key, it's a sledgehammer that can shatter these walls. Your thoughts have the power to transcend limitations and redefine your reality. So next time you find yourself gazing at the stars, remember, the world is as big or as small as your thoughts make it.